When I was growing up, I learned very little about Wisconsin Indians, and the history that I did read was either overly romanticized or presented Indians as victims. This is the book that I wanted when I was growing up. There have been a lot of history books written about Native Americans, but they've been written by outsiders, people whose lives intersected with Native Americans, government officials, traders, missionaries. Very few history books have been written by Native people themselves, and that's what I wanted to do. I think I'm in a unique position to have written this book. I've been a journalist, I'm a storyteller, I'm a tribal member. I've spent decades in Indian country in this state. I've visited all the Wisconsin Indian communities. I've gotten to know people and I think people have gotten to know me. There were tribal historians, educators, and culture keepers in each of the communities who offered feedback, read my chapters, this wasn't a sanitized history. I mean, there were some uncomfortable things. It's an honest history, but still it was really important to have people in each community buying into this project. And they've entrusted me to tell their stories in a way that's fair, accurate, and culturally sensitive. And that trust is really important to me. Indian Nations of Wisconsin uses resources that Native Americans use to remember the past. Pictographs, songs, dances, creation stories, basket patterns. These are the ways that Native people remember and reconstruct the events of their lives. One of the really wonderful things about this project was to have the Wisconsin Historical Society as a partner. The society has just a vast collection of Native American artifacts and photographs, and so you'll see that this book is nicely illustrated. This new edition has about 15 to 20 percent new material in each chapter and two new chapters. One on the Brother Town, an Indian tribe that some people might not have heard of, and one on urban Indians, which is really important since more than half of all Wisconsin Indians live in urban areas. So I think those are some really important new additions. Indian Nations of Wisconsin, I think, presents Native people in a much more complex way. And I think this is important because, you know, we've had some pretty painful chapters in Wisconsin history when it comes to Indians. The boat landing violence of the 1980s and 90s, um, the conflicts over natural resources, mining issues. And I think a book like this can go a long way in promoting better cultural understanding. And, you know, I, I hope that's important to people.